polygamy. Let's talk about it. So, it is Friday in my world, and that means that we have just had a new Friday... Mm, there's a cat. We have just been given a new Fourth Estate Offensive Friday discussion topic, and this week's is polygamy. And so Grace and I <laughs> are going to talk about polygamy and each of Yay. our <laughs> personal <laughs> um, opinions on it, and maybe they'll be different, maybe we'll debate, but I feel like it's probably actually the same thing. So. Probably. So... <laughs> so, what is your first thoughts when you hear the word polygamy? Weird. I think of, like, that Sister Wives show. Yeah, that show, too. I like So, a lot of what they talked about um, on the discussion group was how it would affect a person economically. Like, would a man or woman be able to uh, financially support that many wives and then that many children or grandchildren that, that come from having that many wives? Ooh. I've never thought of that. Right? Yeah, I was so surprised. I was like, I've never thought about that. If you're going to be getting married and having kids and, like, you're planning out to do that, you should already have a financial plan ahead of you. But, like, if you get pregnant and you have a kid and, like, you're not financially able but you want to try to figure out a way to make this kid work and, make and like, support it as best as you can and do your best for it. Make this kid work. Make this kid work. <laughs> make it sound like it's a robot. <laughs> well, it... it I mean, it's kind of like a lizard when it first comes out. That's what I mean. Like, if, if, you're, if you're going to take this step to get married and be financially stable, I think whether you're going to have one wife or seven wives or one husband or seven husbands, you should already be thinking about how you're going to support that person financially um, as opposed to, like, if you just get pregnant and then you're like, oh, shit, I have a baby, now i got to support it. Like, it's, it's different. <laughs> um, in other cultures, polygamy is already legal. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Like, go for it if you if you want to. If you're, like you said, financially stable enough. But my like, I would never. I would never do that. Cause yeah. I can't even handle like one guy at all ever. So <laughs> seven, not not even gonna it could, happen. It could be like gay polygamy too though. It could be like lesbian polygamy too. I can't handle you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't handle like seven of me? No, no. <laughs> I could never share someone I was intimate with. I, I just I couldn't do it. It it I don't think I I mean I don't think it's wrong because, you know, and, and no judgment, I just I couldn't do it. I I'm not emotionally secure enough to do that. Um, but if other people are, then that's totally fine, and I think that's totally cool, and I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with legalizing. It could be something that could work, but at the same time, I mean, a lot of cases of polygamy in the United States ends up in cult-like situations where... Or a TV show. America. <laughs> ultimately, it is a personal choice, and if it's something that's happening between two, seven, or eight, or nine, or ten, or twenty consenting people of age of consent, then there's nothing wrong with it. So yay, that was this week's um, Offensive Friday topic. Yay. Yay. <laughs> we'll expect a To Write Love on Our Arms video tomorrow, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.